Hi everyone, I will show you how to make your, in your website more international using a plugin. You just have to add a new one and search for WP Globus. There are several plugins. Choose the first one, which is the basic one. And then we will have to install the featured images. This is a basic stuff. Translate options in WP Bakery Visual Composer are more advanced for for WordPress. Just install it. And then we will have to activate it. We look again for the other plugin. This add-on. and activate it once we were done with this we go to WP Globus and to languages there will be a several more languages for the first time here you can choose which one will be your main language to set it up you just have to put it in the top to remove one language and check the box to add another language search for it in the list and then save it also here in language language selector mode you can choose if you want to show a two letter code with a flag, a full name, full name with the flag, or only the flag. Also here in the selection menu, you can choose between the menus you have in your website, top menu, normal menu, or also in the footer. You enable this to make it appear in all the pages. If you know some more coding, CSS, you can add some style to it. We save it and then we check it on our website. We set it up as a default as, in, as English and then we can see here that Spanish and Italian are appearing but to make the translations you have to go and set all the posts and some settings to add the translation me block and we save it we go to posts we edit or add a new post I already have some previous work here I have hello world that's a basic one Spanish you can write the translation also, if you have Joe's CO plugin, you can translate the snippet. Hello world, my website. Edit snippet. Hola. One advantage of the WP Globus Plus is that you can have a full analysis of Joe's CEO for different keywords in the language that you choose. Also here you can set a different featured image for the language that you are choosing. Now we're going to 
widgets and we will translate what it appears here most of them have a world next to them and we will write the translation for it we will do the same for the rest of it and we save it and to check it we are on a, on our normal page we hit Spanish and as you can see it already translated the widgets And that's all. Thank you for watching.